Here I'm going to show you something quite interesting. If you want like a synth or like a waveform that sounds angelic, I guess, like a little, like it has like the waveform of an angel, kind of like this. And you can hear it in all of my other songs that uses the same waveform. Like, uh, ooh, what was it called again? This one. <laughs> And Sprite Sprite, I believe. Yes. You know how to do that? Well. Yes, in order to make an angelic sounding waveform, you use your own voice. So like, for example, you listen to a female voice singing, but a man can't do that. So, this is how you do. I have, uh, yeah, my my recording thing here. Yeah, new. And I am recording myself. Okay, so you pitch down the voice of a woman singing, and then you. Try to match that with your voice by doing this. Oh, like, oh, or like, oh, wait, oh, like you stick your tongue out, like you're saying, duh, like. Wait, a little bit more nasally. I guess. I guess that's how you do it, but there we go. <laughs> and there we have the waveform. Yeah, something like that. Then you 
Yeah, you make it more visible. There we go. And then you pick. Yeah, this is where it splits. And uh, that is where it goes. There we go. There is the waveform. So you save this. And then have it like waveform. Uh, like, I guess that. then you put it into your instrument like there it is so like in citrus that you have so you can uh, oh no there we go this is where it calculates it says analyze single cycle well waveform there we go But you have to, you know, do a little bit of tweaking since I already perfected it by doing like the same kind of thing. Comparing to something and then pitching down and then doing the same pitch down as accurately as I can with my voice and then pitching it up. And it sounds like this. I have no idea how I was able to do that. I guess I had some kind of, yeah, but that's the method. 